Hey everybody, it's just a quick video today to tell you about two changes that have happened with the Microsoft Edge browser in the latest version. The first change I want to talk about is a very minor change to workspaces. If I go and click the workspaces menu, create a new workspace, doesn't matter, I can give it a name or whatever, I'll just leave it as workspace one. We'll click done. All right, there's our new workspace. I'll close that and now I'll go over here to my favorites and from here, you can see the workspace has now been added to the bottom of our favorites list. So if this was a PC I used all the time, there would obviously be a lot of favorites. And right down the bottom, you'll see any workspaces there. Now, I'm not sure it's a completely awesome change because I literally just have to click up here in the top left corner anyway. But it is a change and it is there. Okay, now the second change I want to talk about is with Bing Chat. So let's just ask it something. Write me a PowerShell script that calculates the number of sleeps until Christmas. All right. Okay. So as expected, it's obviously got the output. We can also choose to copy this to the clipboard and that'll just copy this code. But something else that has changed, if you notice if I hover over the output here, we get this little downward pointing icon that shows export. If we click that, we can export to Word, PDF, or text. So let's just click one of these. I'll go with PDF. And that can just gives you a quick idea of what that's going to look like if we save this out to a PDF in this case. So there's a couple of quick changes that have happened with the Edge browser. And that's obviously in, if we click uh, the three little icons here and go to help and feedback, go to about Microsoft Edge, and you'll see the current version right there. So I hope that's good news for all you Edge users. So like, subscribe, and have a good day. And good things will come your way. Bye-bye.